Good morning, my lovely people. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon to some. Yes, I wanted to get right back into reactions. Today, we're going to be talking about see, Guys, this has been like requested. A lot of people have, you know, asked me, what is your take on this? Can you tell us your opinion? So now that I'm back into it, I wanted to get started so that we could catch up with everything. Y'all, let's go on and put this disclaimer up because, you know, I'm, you know, got to be very careful out here in these YouTube streets. It's, it's been strike wars. It's been channel taking, you know, so we got to, we got to get this going. So there goes a good disclaimer. Now let's get right on into it. Okay. Now I've been watching everything when it comes to Chrissy and I got a lot of things that is on my mind. Number one, I think that no one is taking Chrissy as serious with her things that she has going on in her life. Because it's not Jazz or Liv. We know that Jazz and Liv are the most hated people, you know, in the mommy sectors. It's either you like Ming and you like Chrissy or you like Jazz and you like Olivia. To me, they're all in the same boat. I don't care. No dog in this fight. I don't take sides. But we know when Jasmine and Olivia teamed up and then Chrissy and Ming teamed up, there were a lot of reactors that did take sides and took Chrissy's side because, of course, you know, it was against Jazz and Liv. I took no sides. If we, let's take a trip down memory lane for one second. If we can remember when everything came out about Rod, Storm was the one that was like, you know, I don't judge people off the past or whatever, but I made a video and I see it. I see it in him that he's violent and controlling. I see it. I said it, and if you guys remember, I took a lot of flack for that. A lot of people was commenting. They were telling me no. They were telling me this. They were telling me, oh, well, you know, people can change. We're not going to judge him and this, that, and the third. But in the same token, whoever Olivia brought in her house or whoever Jazz brought in their house, we did not use that same zest towards their men, right? But since things have come out and everybody knows that I have been a part of domestic violence and things of that nature, I'm going to tell you why I thought this. When I seen Rob and the way he would glance over at Chrissy, it'd be like, you watch what you say. That's what his eyes told me. When I watch Rod and Chrissy together, he would give glances like, watch what you say about me. That's number one. Then as time went on, they did the video when he was drinking and he put, you know, the hand up and he started talking about where all the, you know, good looking women and all this other thing. And as time went on, I thought, I just see it in him. And sometimes unless you've been in that situation, you can't see it in a person, but I'm not going to dwell on that too much. Just know that I've seen it. So now that all this has come out about, you know, let's just say it's alleged. Let's say everything is alleged. Allegedly, you know, he was arrested. Well, that's been proven. So we ain't going to use alleged on it. We just don't know who the victim was in his battery. Let's say that. So everyone is alleging that it's Christy. So that's alleged. Um, allegedly, her tooth broke on a Dorito, which unless the Dorito was made of a brick, I don't know how that could happen. I mean, that must have been one hard ass Dorito. Like, come on, because it was either one ass hard ass Dorito or it was one bad ass veneer. So either way it goes, something just ain't adding up in that. OK. And then she did this mystery move. OK. Now we know that she was saying how much she loved the house she's in now. And she was doing all her saving videos. She, felt, she said, I feel like I am settled. So I'm going to start showing you guys how I'm going to save. Then, boom, you move all of a sudden again. For what reason? We don't know. So it's making things look fishy. I just, like I said, I just feel like no one is digging into all of it because Chrissy is more like than Jazz or Olivia, and it's this battle. But I will say this right here. Just like we get on Jasmine and we get on Olivia and give a good read. Let me give a good read about Chrissy really quick. Chrissy is a person that I look at, and because... We see that her wigs are a better quality. She wears better makeup. She knows how to be very calculated on screen. And she knows to keep her business undercover. We look at her as she's better than them. No, she came from the same cloth that they did. She just polished hers up a little bit better. 
when she introduced Rod to us, nobody cared about Rod's background. Everybody put that under the rug. I care. Now look. Because at the end of the day, what makes Chrissy any better than any of them? Chrissy stays out of house at max five or six months. How many schools have her children been to in the past few years? Do her children even get to make friends in the neighborhood or in school before she's ripping them out and bouncing them to another neighborhood, another school, another district? Like, let's, let's think about the kids. She brought this man in her home that she did not know. Uh-huh. He was playing daddy role. Remember, he was handing out allowance and all this other fake ass shit. When he did that, I told y'all it was fake. You could just look on his face like, oh, let me get this done. Let me get this done. So let's let's do that kind of read. Let's let's talk about it like we would, Jazz or Olivia. What about the kids in this situation? Now everybody's, you know, we know it's a family violence or whatever. Do we know who was in Chrissy's house? From what I've been watching, someone has said that a neighbor came forth and this and that. I'm going to call a spade a spade. I believe it happened with him and Chrissy. I believe they argue all the time. I believe that they keep up a lot of stink. And I believe that the neighbors were tired of it. I believe the landlord was tired of it. And I believe that there was a big old uproar and he put his hands on someone in that home, in Chrissy's home, we don't know who, that he was not supposed to. Period, point blank. With all of this commotion leading up, I think the landlord either said, I'm tired of you, you need to get out, or Chrissy left because maybe she does not feel safe. Did anybody think about that? Did anybody think about what if Chrissy didn't feel safe and decided it's time for me to go because I want to be out of here? I mean, it's just a lot of factors in it. It's a lot of factors in it. I need to look into it a little bit more. But I knew from the moment that she brought him on screen that there was something just not right by him. And it wasn't like his past or... How, it was the way he acted and the way he looked at her. He always, he has this controlling look. And he looks like the type that when he does not get his way, he will throw a fit. And see, a lot of things that these women don't understand. And once again, I'm very qualified to talk about this, right? Because look, we bring in people in our lives. We're YouTubers. They're not YouTubers. So when Jazz met Chris, when Rod and Chrissy got together, and when Olivia and Brandon and Zolo, I mean, we could use all of her past, got together. We met these people, and I did too. I mean, well, positive, at least he knew about YouTube. He was a mod, but when you bring people into your life and then you instantly put them on YouTube and put them in your life, they don't know who we're dating. They don't know the depths of YouTube, not per se all the time. So when y'all put these men on camera and they start getting a little faint, <clears throat> and start getting a little glory, then look what happens. You get a Zolo. Yeah, you get a Brandon. Or you get a Rod who still continues to do what he wants when he wants, and he is not going to care about your brand. Or you get a Chris who's an arrogant, cocky person and doesn't care about your brand. So everybody in this whole mommy sector, all freaking three, Chrissy, Olivia, and Jasmine, are all guilty of bringing men in their home that they barely knew and allowing them to ruin or tilt their brand. Now, of course, we know Chrissy's going to bounce back from it because everyone is not focusing on the fact that Chrissy had this man in her home. Chrissy had these men, this man around her children. Chrissy lied and played us before. Remember when she was married? She was out there painting uh, DeMarcus like he was the the bee's knees, he was working, he was taking care of his kids, he was the best husband ever. Then as soon as he upped and left with another woman, she was like, he never worked, I lied for him, he never did this, and he was very mean, and he stayed on his phone, and he did this. You, you told your truth once he left. So we know that while she's dealing with the man, that's just something she's going to do. She's going to lie for him, and she's going to protect him. So I'm just waiting for the moment that she decides to unleash everything, you know, about Rod. Oh, this is what happened. And this, 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 this is going to happen. It's going to happen. And I'm going to be right there watching because it is. So guys, I wanted to get on and touch on this subject. I would really like to know what you guys think, but I really think it's because Chrissy 
and Olivia and Jasmine and them are all fighting amongst each other that we are bypassing the fact that she's no better than them when it comes to dating and who she chooses. So you guys let me know what you think. I'm going to dig into it. I'm going to dig into some Olivia things. I'm going to watch videos and we're going to have conversations about this because it needs to be done. But somebody, please go find that Dorito. Go find that Dorito. Because that was one hard Dorito. She buried. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me put this up. Somebody go find that Dorito. Because, girlfriend, that Dorito that you bit in on that broke your veneer, where is the. Typically now, now, wait a minute, because you know we got to end it funny. When you get a veneer, they, they will foul your tube down to like a, a little stump and then they will cover it. That will be their base. Girl. Did you have a veneer or did you have a, a partial? I think you had a partial, honey. Think you, <laughs> I think you had a partial because I don't see nothing there. But somebody go and find that Dorito for Chrissy. Because that even that space looked like more than one, too. Girl, I think you had some partials up in there. But y'all, I love y'all. And I'm going to see y'all later.